the spirit said, brooding. His word was in my bones. Forget brooding. about acquisition. Acquisition Over is tertiary. The primary the goal brooding. of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire. Let your mind be Holy God's fire. Here is what most people do. They hang around people with results and think hanging around is what produces the results. You see that now? Just because you snap with an anointed man does not make you anointed. You only implicate yourself for your destruction because you will now be elevated to platforms you don't have the grace to defend. And with shame, you will be reduced back to where you rightfully belong. Whenever you have access to men who have this result, your proximity should be an opportunity to do whatever it is scripturally within your means to get them to open you up to the patterns. Listen, when God gives you unusual access to great people, you would be unwise if all you do is celebrate the leverage. It is no leverage until the patterns are revealed to you. Learn this. Many of you have served great men of God. Many of you have served billionaires. Many of you served senators. And all you have are their photos. All you have are physical gifts they gave you. You didn't do well. Sir, what took you from a local government chairman to a senator that regardless the antagonisms and without bribing you still remain? Show me a pattern. And the man will tell you it started from my grandmother. One day I took a cup of water to mama and she said kneel down she said i did not do well but i lay my hands upon you and i elevate you to be higher than me oh that is it see let me repeat it one more time please listen to me results do not happen by luck results are exact engagings or engagements of patterns the purpose of scripture is that you have access to these patterns. Scattered through scripture are patterns that correspond to various dimensions of the glory of God. A few have found some. Others have found quite some. But God is still counting on many who will find all. For instance, raising the dead is still a mystery across the body of Christ. Do you know that I believe that there are times we will find these patterns and it will become as frequent as healing headaches? Is that true? Now you see sicknesses and diseases as much as we desire with all our hearts to see people healed. It grieves my heart when I see people who were prayed for and did not get the kind of healing they desired. But th there were times in the Bible when the Bible would say Jesus healed them all. The disciples thought it was just by laying on of hands. They went to drag that epileptic patient, you remember? And they embarrassed themselves there. Nothing happened and they came to Jesus. They said, listen, we're frustrated. Why couldn't this happen? And Jesus told them, because of your unbelief, this kind goeth not but by this and that and that. And Peter kept following. A time came when the shadow of Peter. You can see growth, measurable growth. The Bible says God wrought special miracles, Act 19, Acts chapter 19, by the hands of Paul, so that handkerchiefs and aprons that were taken from him were put upon the sick. Come on now. The ways of God is the secret that this generation needs. Listen, we have had sermons, wonderful sermons, commendably so, we have heard songs we have heard recitations but it's time for a, a a manifestation an accurate communication of provable patterns patterns whose glory you can relate with so that we don't build on rubbles and shadows celebrating supposed remas that don't seem to have corresponding levels of glory because hear me the world that is coming in the next 10 years is not this world that you know. It will be a world of precision and proofs. Let me repeat to you prophetically that the world that is that our civilization is evolving into. Are you seeing the level of accuracy that science is attaining onto? 
with the manifestation of AI right now and all of these things, there is exactitude and precision. Even in medicine, except the church. Listen, revival is threefold. Number one, the individual. Number two, the body of Christ. Then number three, territories. We are still in phase one where God is bringing an awakening to individuals because that's the pattern we see in the life of Gideon. The first thing that happened was a personal revival for Gideon. The Gideon pattern now. Then after Gideon was walked upon, he said, now go in this demise. Gideon blew a trumpet and 33,000 of his men now came. And even among them, there was a pruning until they were left 300. And it was with those they went and defeated the Midianites. So the first thing God is doing is personal awakenings and revivals. Planting a hunger in people, young and old, from every nation and every territory. And what a joy God has mandated Africa and even Nigeria. Every continent has sounded their shofar. We're about to hear the shofar that comes from Nigeria. And my goodness, and Africa, it will be loud and clear. We may not export oil, we may not export other technological products, but we are exporting the spirit with power, with proof. We are exporting superior dimensions of the spirit. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. We look to Yahweh. It is only a revived man that can cause revival. It is only a transformed man that can bring transformation. It says, such as I have, give I. So when we talk about awakenings and revivals, many of us are just thinking going to the nations. No, you go to the nations without miracle working power. You go to the nations broke and hungry and tired. No, allow that which you want to import to work in your life first. Then you will come with confidence. 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 The things we have seen, the things we have heard, it says that which our hands have handled even of the word of life that is what we preach now you can stand and tell a generation we have not brought you cunningly devised fables listen we're about to pray i want to ask you a few questions question one is it true that god walks through men don't just answer think about it can the God of the universe actually hold the hands of a mortal man and walk with that man? I was speaking some time ago with a consultant who was telling me, please sit down. The consultant was telling me some of the advancements that have happened in medicine. And based on what he told me, here's what he said, that right now, using the power of the internet, a doctor from somewhere can actually be performing surgical procedures without being there physically using the power of robotics and all of that you know I said wow that just reminded me that the God of heaven can find expression through the hands of mortal men so you see possibilities that are beyond the man and you know that there must be a mighty God producing this I ask you again is it true that the God of the heavens whom the heavens cannot even contain, that he can literally live, speak, and walk through men. Do you believe it is possible? Question two, do you believe it can happen with you?
that these hands can literally the hand of Jehovah can rest upon an ordinary man's hand and you will command possibilities that these lips of clay as frail as they are his majesty can echo his voice and everyone in Zion can hear and know that he's the one speaking I'm asking you a question do you believe he said great is the mystery of godliness that God can become a man ladies and gentlemen this was a revelation that the fathers caught today it is a theological debate in the church was never meant to be so is it true that God can live through men and manifest provable possibilities in their lives how do you keep speaking and people are shouting up and down are you a herbalist by what mechanism